Uh, one last question I got uh, from the chat. I want to throw at you guys. I think it's a, it's a, it's, it's a relevant and timely question right here. Craig Delk says, should we start talking about how to protect our portfolios from here? You know, I think it's on the mind of people out there, guys. You know, uh, you know I, I, if you feel the need to protect the portfolio, I think you're overweight in technology and discretionary and, and, and you probably should look at rotation instead of protection at this point. Um, and so I, I do think the protection concept is probably a little premature because this is not supported by broad market mechanics. Um, it's really segmented in certain sectors and that's discretionary. That's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. obviously like, for example, utilities has been as bad as technology for like six months. Nobody's been saying that it's yeah. technology. It's, it's your overweight in technology. And how many times, you know, Mark, even Mark on, on the halftime report, when he comes in, Mark lives in that area, the market, he's like, you got to, you got to, you got to rotate. You got to, you know, me. And how many times have I said in the, in the halftime report, Hey guys, if you're overweight in tech, you got to start sprinkling in some finance some basic materials some industrial some energy stocks right mm -hmm. so i do think if you're having the conversation oh my goodness this is getting a little nasty out there it's probably not just because you're looking at the market breaking a short-term support level it's probably because you're looking at your portfolio and saying why am i so red and that's a portfolio balance conversation before it's an insurance conversation in my opinion that's right. I mean, uh, what is the, the S and P is what, how far off the high Tyler percentage was? You're probably four or five. Let me see. Five. So if Six, a 5% right. move in the broad markets is creating a 20% loss in your account. It's is, a weight it, problem. It's a weighting. It's a leverage problem. There's other things happening there that you need yeah. to probably assess, I believe. And that's where portfolio design, you know, understanding those concepts uh, is very important. And uh, I would, I would do a leverage check. I would look at now, uh, the way that I'm balanced. All those. If this things. was widely broad based, Mm -hmm. Okay, I would have a different answer if it was broad based. And so if the market is literally if we were looking at the spiders right now violating the 50 day moving average like it is on the back of volatility increasing on the backs of trends shifting and patterns shifting and, and momentum shifting, I would have a different response. Energy, finance, basic materials, industrial, all doing very, very well. Cyclical movement still still supported based on theme economy still reopening up i know it like like i i just i just i i think we're premature there mm -hmm. i do mm -hmm. now again if you are having that you need to look at the weight in your portfolio and and at, at this point you're, you're kind of getting to the man have you missed this and are you late on selling here mm -hmm. right Tell i mean I text down 10 you're in correction territory guys mm-hmm I have a lot to say on this. Here, so I'll put in a plug. If you come to the Cash Flow Club tonight, I, I'm on Cash Flow Club this evening. I'll do a deep dive on this question. Please Is it do, time to, to buy protection? Please, please do, because I think it's, that is such a wonderful and important question. And I do think if we do some like a deep dive on that conversation, because I do think it's a rotation answer right now, not an insurance answer. But those rotation can get into insurance really quickly, though. And 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 we're talking context so matters here, right? It's like, well, are I mean, are we talking about a four hundred one k that you don't need the money for thirty years? I mean, yeah, then the answer is absolutely this is gonna happen, no. This is going right, to happen yeah. forty five times over the next thirty years. You don't want to uh, pay ten percent to protect against four percent, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and so versus the person that's like, no, it's a short term, you know, portfolio. So it, it completely depends on the situation. Um, so I'm going to dig into it tonight in the cash flow club for those that can join me. Well, and, and there's and, some detail in there that needs to be, you know, understood on any individual, but obviously we're going to tackle it from a broad base. I mean, uh, for investments and trades, those are different conversations, guys, right? The number one indication that has always occurred before you see major market sell-offs, and I'm talking the ones historically, right? I'm not talking about the 5% dip that happened in a random month in 2014, mm -hmm. right? I'm talking about the ones we remember as a consumer base, the 08 market, the 2000 market, those major market cycles. What always happened before those major market cycles was an interest rate cycle of normalizing interest rates. We haven't even started thinking about that yet. Mm -hmm. and, and that's not me saying that, guys. That's our buddy Jay Powell saying that a month ago. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
Definitely. And, and Tyler, I'm glad that you're willing to take that on. And I'm glad that you're teaching that tonight. So uh, no, it's, very it's relevant. such an important concept. And that's a great question. Timely topic. Very important. Hopefully we can uh, help anybody out there and that Tim, does have those questions. 100% the question you should be asking yourself. Mm-hmm. 100%. Now the answer might not be, maybe not yet, but I love the fact that Craig's thinking about that question. Yeah. But particularly before the market's down 25%. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, I love the question. I love the question.